Alrighty, let's continue where we left off in the last video. So we'll continue with the advanced MIDI controllers, touchscreen and iPad in music production. Okay, uh, let's move on. Another type of a controller what I have here is a MPE keyboard from Rolly. Uh, so it's a MIDI polyphonic expression type of a controller. So meaning that it, it will send multiple MIDI messages and, and in different channels to provide uh, polyphonic aftertouch, um, also different type of control, like a, um, you can use it. Um, however, Rolly does not have a, um, Rolly doesn't have a AAX um, plugin yet. So what I have done is that I have actually connected the Rolly plugin through Vienna Ensemble Pro. That's actually handy if you have plugins that are not compatible with the Pro Tools, so you can still run them. So like I have the Rolly player here and you can still run them and, and use them within the Pro Tools. Uh, but the plugin itself is hosted in this Vienna Ensemble Pro and, and it's remotely used. Um, and what I noticed when I use this, it will actually transfer all the MIDI MPE messages into um, Vienna Ensemble Pro as well and um, like I have now enabled the pitch band and, um, and the pressure controls for this. Um, this is a commercial software so if you would not like to use a commercial software or, or you would like to see something else you have an audio grid there uh, that is similar that can remotely do a DSP for you so again this has an AAX uh, plugin that you can use within Pro Tools and then you can load your um, Rolly, uh, Rolly Studio in here. So this, both these can be used so that you can access um, VST controllers or EU controllers uh, or uh, plugins and, and instruments that are not uh, providing AAX um, format. And, and this is how I now get to use Rolly uh, with the MPE type of an instrument, in this case uh, the, the Rolly uh, Studio. So I can, I can use all the functionality that the keyboard provides. Of course there are other instruments coming in place that already start to provide also the MPE support, so you can do things that are a bit more complex and, and, and bring variation to your play in that respect. Okay, let's move on. Alrighty, let's look at Stream Deck. It's another controller that can be used to do micros and, and keyboard shortcuts. And um, this basically can go by itself so you can do a lot of programming here um, into different um, functions that you want to automate and um, what I have done here is just an example of how to basically um, set it up in uh, in Pro Tools. So for example if I would like to now uh, bring in a key that changes between you know the edit view and uh, mix view can just simply bring that hotkey into the into the into the configuration and then go into here say click to assign and then I assign uh, assign the keyboard command into it and then now if I'm I'm I'm, I'm pressing that um, it will then start to function I need to close this and have a focus of course in Pro Tools but now when I press it it will run the keyboard shortcut and I can switch between mix and edit view. Similarly I can go into uh, edit mode and have different type of edit controls or I can play or 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 so. So I can do different type of things and macros with Stream Deck so it's extremely handy and easy to program and um, there are also a lot of extensions into it and that you can use you can download those extensions uh, from the website, from their website. Some of them are uh, priced, some of them are free and, and, and so you need to check them out and that, what you want to have and what you want to use. All right.
Next we will look into touchscreen and uh, as you can see from the previous videos I do have a Raven uh, touchscreen monitor in my studio. However, I don't have license for Pro Tools to have the Raven software used with Pro Tools. You can definitely have it for Pro Tools, Logic X, Ableton Live, Cubase, Nuendo, Studio One and Digital Performer. I have recently started use Pro Tools, so I haven't yet bought it and um, I have not had a need for it because I can use iPad for different type of macro commands. I mainly use uh, SSL uh, UF8 for faders. So I haven't that for that reason I haven't bought it but it's actually extremely well integrated with Pro Tools so if you want to if you want to use it by all means. However, you can actually use you can actually use um, the touchscreen with the UPDD driver that you can download and set up so uh, you you have you can have that separately and I will add a link into the into the video as well where to get the UBDD driver for Mac and um, and it also is for Windows though so both platforms are supported however what I have done here is that I have done this uh, touchscreen macros that um, and these are all defined in the UPDD um, settings. So uh, when I go into um, into my Pro Tools, I have here these different um, gestures that I have recorded that I can then utilize with Pro Tools and, and do commands based on that. So it's still handy and, and it can help you with the workflow because you can do scrolling, you can of course do zooming zoom in zoom out so all that works pretty nicely then also like if i want to duplicate i have command that to be three finger ro rotate uh, left if i want to mute it's a three finger rotate right so i can kind of mute the clip and, and unmute the clip if i want to delete it i basically take two fingers and rotate left but then of course if I want to repeat it again and, and, and mute it or whatever I can use these touch commands. Three thing, sorry, four fingers touch uh, will change between the mix view and the edit view so I can quickly jump between those and, uh, and so combine the touch commands with the physical controllers like UF8 and, and then the iPad controller the Metagrid I haven't had need to kind of purchase um, a Raven license for this. However, it is quite handy to use the certain touch commands. And, and of course, you can also then use uh, this touch interface easily. So, for example, if I now play and I can then basically do that and And then it basically works great. So now it is just playing the audio and it's not playing anything else. So um, so like if um, if we change into the screen so you can just hear the audio playing. And um, and so yeah. So this is how to use touchscreen with uh, Pro Tools with um, the UPDD driver. Um, pl basically plain UPD driver. Um, and um, and so you might want to check that out if you have a touch enabled screen within your configuration. Let's move on. Okay, so when it comes to different type of fader controllers, um, SSL UF8 is uh, definitely one thing that I, I can re recommend in order to, you know, do mix, uh, mixing and, and uh, use to be used with uh, Pro Tools. It has a very pretty, I would say, pretty good integration with Pro Tools. So, um, and then you can also, of course, configure all things that are important for you and your workflow from this uh, 360 software. And um, and and then you can uh, you can easily kind of modify all all aspects of the of the controller itself. You could also run the macros that I created in, in other devices so you can 
run keyboard uh, shortcuts in here. Uh, you can also program these to to change the the view and and things like that. So, of course, I I need to have a control in in Pro Tools in order to be able to bring and and utilize these keys. But as you can see, I can easily you know uh, do things. Uh, I can also of course say uh, play and stop and and all these can be programmed as as you see here. Then of course it is a full blown fader controller. So if we go into the mixer and use you know the faders, they you can solo things, you can mute things, and and of course all that works pretty awesome. So so that's one way to control. Of course, Avid has own controllers for this. If you wanna use their own S1 and um, and and and. and and those Avid controllers that are available for you. They are a bit more pricier, I would say. This is a bit more um, bit, bit more cheaper, but it's still extremely good and, and it, it, it links well with, with Pro Tools. So highly recommend to check this out as well um, to, to kind of, uh, if you, if you want to have a more tactile experience when doing a mixing and uh, mastering. So it is definitely a good one. You can also multi have multiple of these so you can chain them. So you can have one, two, three, I think up till four, these type of controllers so that you could have basically four times eight channels to be mixed at the, at the same time. Okay, that was Pro Tools and how to use advanced MIDI controllers, touchscreen and iPad within Pro Tools while creating music. So we looked at few controllers and hopefully got some ideas about that. Uh, now we will move into Logic Pro X and see how to utilize these controllers in a Logic Pro X. Thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe for the channel for more content. Bye now.